Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil. In this React.js project video tutorial, we will learn that how we can integrate login API. So we already uh, integrated our registration API because of, uh, for login we need some uh, registered users. That's why we just created a registration functionality first and now we are jumping on login. So these are the points for our video. First of all, we will test our API on the postman because Let's say you are integrating API and you are just uh, facing some errors, then uh, you might don't know that these errors are actually coming from a database or uh, these are actually front-end errors, right? Even if you are an experienced developer, then you can just guess that uh, error type, but at a beginner level, you might be confused. So we will test our API on, uh, you can say that uh, Postman, and then we will integrate it in uh, our project. So after testing our APIs, we will make a simple HTML form. We will get this uh, form data in our state and send to our API on a submit button click. And uh, after this uh, successfully uh, submitting data, we will just store this data to the local storage and redirect to the other uh, page that can user access after uh, authorized or you can see that logged in. And uh, we will test our complete API flow, complete login flow, you can see that. Uh, we will just log in some uh, users then logged out and all and you can see that it's kind of testing so now let's start uh, let's start with the postman so i am just going to close this uh, page because because i am just testing before this making video now we will just uh, do it again so first of all we must have to know the method of api which is post and how will you get to know that uh, what is your URL, what data you need to send and what is the uh, method of your API. API developer will uh, just told you, uh, tell you everything that you want to send. So now uh, let's just uh, get URL. My API URL is uh, postman 8000 API and login. This is my API URL and I created this API in Laravel. And after that, we have to send some uh, data. Let's select uh, row and uh, JSON data. You might need to send some other kind of data also. It depends on uh, your API type and what your API actually expecting. But 99.9% .9 uh, they will expect the JSON data. And now we need to send a two field, which is email. So let's say my email is anil at the rate test.com and the second parameter is basically uh, password and uh, password in my case is, is abc at the rate 123 and now we can test it. Let's send it and uh, here you can see that the status for API is 200 that means everything is fine and this is our data. So let's say I'm just going to send some wrong data like uh, just wrong password or something then you can see that I am getting that email or password is not matched. Great, this is working fine. So now let's uh, uh, just create a form and after that we will integrate this API. So let me just jump on a login page and let's make a form. Input, uh, even I can just uh, uh, make it format, formatted. All right, so let me just define the type of this input. It can be text, placeholder, let's say email, right? And uh, now let's check out the look and feel of it. Uh, let me just go on a login. This is not looking cool. So I can add a bootstrap class here. So let's add a class name and it can be form control. Now let's see this is actually just grabbing the whole width and this is not looking good so what i can do here i can simply make a div and inside div let's make a class name it can be call sm6 and uh, now you will feel that that's okay but everything is coming in a left side so how we can make it center so let's just define some offset offset sm3 it should be in a center now that's great 
and uh, now let's add a br tag like this not like this like this and make a copy of it and let's make a button just write here login and uh, I can add some class name here mm, like uh, btn and uh, after that btn here you can just put here primary and now this is looking good all right so let's define um, at least two states so just write here const email set email and uh, just simply put here use state can be blank and uh, after that we can uh, put here password password state and set password all right and uh, now let's uh, set this state how we can set just use your own change event and uh, now let's find a uh, event parameter and just set here set email so that you can just watch it clearly I am just uh, taking it inside the next line and set email is a function and use here e dot target dot value same thing we can uh, do with the password also and I must have to change its uh, placeholder to the password and it should be a password type because uh, we cannot use password as in text otherwise it will be visible and just use here use password all right and uh, everything is working fine still user on click event call a function let's say login define it I can define it here function login and uh, now let's console let's take a uh, yes console is fine console dot one and let's see what we are getting inside a email and in a password state let's open uh, 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 the console also let me put here email address like uh, anil at the rate test dot com and uh, again password let's say for a moment one two three this is not correct even but uh, we can check that everything is working fine all right now we want to call here api but uh, we need to collect this data inside uh, object before that right so let's use here item and uh, make uh, object of it email and password all right now just use your fetch function and uh, we can pass here our url for api which is here like this and let's uh, store this result inside a variable result and uh, this function should be async because we this api will be actually returning a promise and we can handle it with the weight and uh, in the second parameter we can send here method method can be a post then uh, 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 after that uh, we can set here headers and uh, inside headers let's uh, put the two parameters one is let's just copy it from here so that we can save them some time content type that means what data we are just sending and uh, we are just my bad content type and uh, it will be a JSON content right and just paste it like this and second parameter will be accept what data will be are we will accept accept we will accept the JSON data 
everything is fine now let's uh, set here a body and a body we will send our data like uh, item but we cannot send this item directly like this we must have to change it inside a uh, stringify format just use here json dot what's along with it json dot stringify and put here item all great and uh, after that uh, it will return again a promise why it will return again promise because when we call api we have a two promises one is resolved with the you can say that uh, um, await but another we have another promise to resolve the uh, stringify format uh, sorry read, read stream format to the uh, json parse so now let's again take a result and it will just resolve uh, json data and again we need to put here await like this and after that what we can do we can just uh, store this uh, local storage dot get data mm, sorry now set data we don't need to get here set data and what we can set here result but again we cannot simply set this result data like this because this is an uh, json data so let me just change it in a json dot stringify format and now we can save it here and after that we can just uh, use here history dot push dot push and send it inside a uh, add like this on a add page so if everything should be fine then it must have to work perfectly and now let's see so this is a pre-filled data we can just remove it anil at the rate test.com this is my email id and abc at the rate abc at the rate one two three this is my password so now let's check again and i will i just want to show you that this api will just hitting a, a backend here you can see that login api but uh, we just got an error with a set item let me just yep because uh, when we are just setting item we must have to use here two parameters i just uh, miss the first one which is a key which is, should be a user info right right and uh, just call it again whenever i'm clicking it now you can see that everything is working fine so let's take uh, understand it step by step first of all this api is just uh, get the data we just sending a uh, email id and password and it return email id password and name after that this data is stored inside local storage here you can see that right and uh, this our uh, login page is redirected to the add url here you can see that this is for add product and this is add url and uh, from header we have this drop down from here we can just log out and this is our name so whenever i will just click on it you will find that this local storage will be just removed from here and this functionality we made in the last video I'm just going to click on our logout. This data is gone from here, and we are just coming back on a login. So let me just uh, use another user like uh, Peter at test.com, and my password is same for every user so that uh, I can remember that. One, two, three. Again, login and here we go this is working fine and peter is here even after refresh everything is working great right because we are storing data inside a local storage so with that way you can uh, just make a login if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box or on my instagram account and thanks for watching this video